07 Star Citizen. Last night there was another round of Evocati testing and here is what I we experienced. So testing focus was stability, uh, full character customizer revamp, the Mopi class rework, the star map, interior map and mini map, EVA T2, new loot screen, new visor lenses, full FPS combat refractor, Backpack reloading, ammo repooling, dynamic crosshair, physical shopping UI, and the server crash recovery. There was overhauled water, um, a full AI ship combat balance pass, and of course an FPS combat overhaul, which goes in balance changes of weapons and other things, scope sites, attachment updates, and more. But let's Let's see what I actually could look into because sometimes I definitely could experience very well other things I couldn't go there yet at first that this um, testing happens to a quite late hour in the day. This means as I have um, a next day to get up, I cannot do the full hour, four hours. I usually get about two hours to do that. Otherwise, <laughs> I just would be dead the next day uh, and I don't want to have that because I like and love to be awake and fit to do the things I want to do. And so that's a rather short one. And we still have, um, or dealing with um, the processing and the in enhancing of the server recovery, which felt a lot better this time. It felt it, it went quicker than the last um, run we did um, about a week ago. Um, but it still it takes a lot of time till the recovery is actually happening but it does happen and that's that's just so amazing the the biggest awe moment that i had in this whole time was when i could use the star map um i was sitting in new babbage at the um asop and i hit f2 and i saw the asop terminal as a map in front of me three-dimensional laid out and then i'm zooming out and seamlessly goes back and back and back and back and it moves through all the different layers till i'm out seeing the whole planet and you see day and night cycles on the planets now oh man that's just again like yay yay so cool it's just just something so much needed so you actually see how the which part is on the shady sh shadow side of the planet and which one has the sunlight on it which just makes moving on the planet a lot easier um and to prepare yourself for certain combat situations that you want to go in for exploring situations you want to go into um on wh where are you heading to when you go to a planet and then you move further out and you see the planets, um, in this case, was Microtech with, with its three moons. And you move out and then you just double click on another planet and it zooms it right onto that planet and you have it right in for it, for it. Clearly movable and it's just like, it, it, it worked. It was like, yeah, so much, so much excitement to see this, um, what was being shown back on CitizenCon, how, how this seamless move through this um, space map. It's not possible. And now I had it on my own screen. I was like, that was an incredibly exciting moment for me, this um, star map update. And then Mo Moby Glass update. Moby Glass looks absolutely amazing. It is, uh, it is, it is bigger. It is nice. It has nice icons that pop up. It's just, it's really, it's, 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 it's a huge leap that we did on with the Moby Glass. Um, a couple of things seems not to be fully implemented yet. Um, but 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 they're there and you see how, how it's going to work and again some things i just don't know whether they were implemented or not because i couldn't test it because i didn't went out i for example i still couldn't didn't do any eva testing because um because all the things are you're doing taking time so it is a time consuming game so if you have two hours um and a such a huge testing focus that's that's a lot to cover so i tried to cover some things of it and other things gonna be a mystery for me as well until it's revealed or for the next testing time where i definitely try to test the things i haven't tested yet 
and yeah that's that's how it goes time is limited time is a very precious thing and i try to use it as wisely as possible and to get as much as i can and to bring back as much as i can to the development so things can get smoothened out as we have this collective experience when we are testing this very early stages of the game yeah i think a, a very big change that happens was the whole the, the massive fps overhaul and the um the full vehicle targeted keybind updates that we're actually having um this might be a big yeah keybind changes is always a bit of a pain um i say it's a bit less pain for me because i anyway have to bulk customized i just need to figure out where those new things are so that they shifted on my layouts that i'm having so and i'm gonna need to just adapt those so um yeah i'm sort of sort of bulletproof against those keybind changes because i have yeah i have my laid layout how i want them and i'm not intending to change them so far because they work pretty well for me but as i said with the with the sticks that i'm using the hoses we can be um i have a, a brutal amount of possibilities on the sticks itself to use so there is a lot of lot of stuff that i don't really use i even use those sticks for the eva so it's uh, ships uh, vehicles ground vehicles and eva eva i do with these sticks and that gives a credible amount of immersion and um this this big variety of of of, of button choices that I'm actually having. Um, the FPS combat overhaul, that's that's a massive one, and I'm I haven't I couldn't test that one because I didn't came that far because it's it's huge. Um, there's well new keybinds um, for primary and secondary uh, weapons for the sidearms for un unarmed melee has moved to four instead of zero as it was before. Um, cycle uh previous weapon is now the mouse scroll wheel um this is what it means as well if you want to increase or decrease the speed of your character it's left alt that you use with your mouse wheel before we just could move um change with the with the with the mouse wheel itself doing this i think that's a good change because it's quite common in most of the game that you have the cycle of your weapons with the mouse wheel that's pretty much a standard on most of the games that i'm knowing um and then more changes like multi tools are always G and not the throwables anymore. So the grenades used to be G, now they're E. <laughs> Conjunimals go with Q. So they, they try to adapt a couple of things. And of course, we need to bring them in our body memory. And the first two weeks, that's going to be clunky. That's just to expect it because we're human and humans are habitual beings. And we like to have the things the same over and over and over, no matter how open you are. I consider myself a pretty open personality when i look as well on my personality traits i'm definitely um more of the creative and open side and still i see how changes are bothering me even if i learn to know how to embrace change but i'm still seeing that first it's always an itch and you hit that button and you expect this and this is coming and that has a layer of frustrations but again my recommendation is simply not to get hooked or stuck on on this how it was and see and embrace how it is and if you look into patch notes and, and the link is below so you can see all of them um in in details and, and take your time to to look at it you see how it makes actually sense so i'm seeing the advantage of why why it is already and i couldn't fully use them all but to me it's clearly visible why it has been done fps combat has a general overhaul and the intention is to slow down the players in firefights but still make it able to safely repeat in a fight so there are different many adjustments made to create uh, a more consistent overall experience weapons should no longer get stuck in fallen poses they're moving diagonally diogen, di diagonally <laughs> <laughs> players will now use strafe movement values body mapping as adjusted so the headshot box is more precise so shoulder shots will not longer count as headshots equipment will not block bullets and more and more and more then there are major weapon balance changes so we got an increase of damage with the s38 the lh86 
the Salvo Frag Pistol, the Coda got increased damage, the Uberf, the Rifles got increased damage, P4 AR S71 as well, the Gallant has an increased maximum damage and more. So recoil has been adjusted, um, ammo counts have been changed, the aim down sight time has been, been increased or being less um, uh, being, being fastened up, so there's a couple of things. This this list is really long, so Karna Rifle Change, P8SC, C54, Lumin 5, Custodian. Custodian actually received a nerf uh, by 11.5% because it was a very powerful weapon, is it? LMG, LMGs has had some changes, the FS9 got uh, reduced again by 3.3%. Um, I know many people don't like that. I consider it actually a good thing because it was such a meta weapon for everything. Um, and we have so many cool weapons, so why just having one that is doing the job for everything? Sniper rifles as well received buffs and upgrade and changes. And one of the bigger changes is that the ballistic drop off will be a lot faster. And snipers do not zero in, auto zero in anymore. And the zeroing ranges have been adjusted on sites. Another thing that has adapted is that the projectiles will no longer deal damage twice or multiple times to the same player. This means you can't one-shot a player with a body shot anymore, but you still can hit multiple players with one projectile. So this has been adjusted and changed, and there is a lot more. The grenade launchers the railgun and the grenades have received some changes, so have fun and enjoy testing it out as soon as Re23 is released. So, another week of testing. Um, I appreciate and I'm honored that I can see all those changes already and have fun with it. I'm very happy where we're moving and where we're going. If this video was helpful, please like, subscribe and share. And I look forward to see you in the worst for more gameplay. And I look very much forward to this 323 07 Star Citizen.